Hello, my name is Elliot Saba, and I'm going to be presenting work done by myself, Dillam, and many other volunteers over the last year on modernizing Julia's continuous integration pipeline. First, some history. The Julia Language Project has used BuildBot for many years for its continuous integration, but we eventually outgrew it and needed to modernize. After a look through the options, we settled on BuildKite. This talk is going to showcase some of the cool new tech that we've built as a part of this modernization. And although we're going to focus on Linux, there's a whole other world for each other platform that we deal with. So if you're interested in any of the others, please talk to myself, Dillam, or any of the other people who hang out on the CI Dev Slack channel. One of the problems with CI is that it's basically remote code execution as a service. We need to run untrusted code and we need to do it reliably, securely, and reproducibly. We also want, we want it to be robust so that I don't have to go in and clean out uh, processes that refuse to exit. We'd like to be able to have a single continuous flow from a GitHub commit being pushed to signed binary packages appearing on S3. We need to have manifest.toml-like reproducibility for the build environment, and we need to support every build configuration that Julia itself supports. The first step to doing this, this is some kind of containerization. Now, Drawker would address many of our reliability and reproducibility concerns, but it has a critical flaw. If we run our agents in a Docker container to provide security and isolation from the host system, we can't use Docker to manage the build environment because we can't nest Docker within Docker. So useful output number one from this whole work is sandbox.jl, which, which is a user namespaces based Linux toolkit for containerization and you can use it in your BuildKite pipelines with the Sandbox BuildKite plugin. Now, Sandbox uses a root file system to provide the compilers and tool chains and all the tools that are necessary to build and test Julia. RootFS images allow for precise reproducibility of the build environment, and we built CI pipelines to build the RootFS images themselves because we love CI. These are useful in other BuildKite projects as well, so please feel free to make use of these if you have BuildKite pipelines of your own. So what we've built so far is an agent that works inside of a sandbox that has within itself a smaller sandbox that contains the rootfs image within which we place the Julia checkout and we control our environment variables, and all of this is completely reproducible. The only things that aren't reproducible are the vicious internet, which is the source of quite a few of the uh, still existing failures on the base CI uh, queue, and the local disk, where we have a few persistent folders, such as a download cache and a depot cache, and very occasionally these things can get fudged, and so we need to clean them out. We're still working out some of those bugs, but we're confident that we'll be able to automatically detect them in the future. Now this brings us to the live demo portion of the lightning talk, which is where we showcase how to use a tool that we built called Bug Hunt in order to recreate the build environment locally so that you can see things like the Julia checkout, the binaries that were built, any core dumps or RR traces that were generated as part of the build. So without further ado, let's go take a look. So first let's go ahead and create a commit that will segfault the Julia test suite and build it. And boom, it's built. That was fast. Excellent work, build kite. Uh, let's run the tests. It will segfault a whole bunch of times, generate four core dumps. And now we can go ahead into our Julia build kite repository, enter the debugging folder, run bug hunt, and paste in the build kite URL to this failing build. The bug hunt is going to find and download all of these core files. It's going to check out the Julia source and uh, download the binary and put it all into a build environment where we enter in with an interactive shell. There's a readme that explains a little bit what's going on. And uh, if we take a look at the git checkout, we see that it is in fact the same uh, commit as is the binary that is put into the artifacts directory. This is the built binary that came from that build job on buildkite, that the same one that the test job downloads itself. Uh, and we also see the four core files, which are directories that contain within them all the libraries and, um, and files that are necessary to load the core dump and get the disassemblies and sources. 
if we launch the core, uh, if we launch the debugging of the core dump with that debug script, we can actually get a backtrace here, and you can see that uh, the backtrace is complete. We have C and Julia uh, frames showing showing up here. Uh, if we take a look at the different threads, uh, we see that there are quite a few threads, um, which is the case on CI. We run with 16 threads, uh, and we can get backtraces for all of them, but the crashing thread is the currently selected one, thread 1. Um, if we go ahead and do a backtrace of thread 1 one more time, we'll see that uh, we die in the middle of the run call. Uh, you can see that on frame 14. So if we move up to frame 14 and ask for a source listing, then we can see the Julia source being read off of disk because of those search paths that were set up. So this is a really nice debugging environment. Uh, everything is set up, it's reproducible, it's the same way as it is on CI, uh, and that is the magic of Bug Hunt. And so, in closing, some tools that you yourselves can use in your own build kite pipelines are the Julia and Julia test build kite plugins, the sandbox plugin, the core upload plugin for uploading the core traces after something has seg faulted. Um, you can also use sandbox.jl directly if you just want to use it from Julia. Uh, and finally, bug hunt, which will require some modifications for your own repositories. With that, I'd like to thank all the volunteers who have been working with us over the last year on getting this effort pushed through. And if you are at all interested in this, please join us on the CI Dev channel on the Julia Lang Slack. We'd love to have you.